What happens if you're not a Google but you want to use Google Analytics or you have someone who is a Google user who wants to share a Google document with you, but again, you don't have that Google account yet. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a Google account without using a Gmail address and without signing up for Google Workspace. Hi, I'm Duncan from Six Five, the founder and CEO. I am a Google Workspace certified engineer. And this video is not just about Workspace, it's about how to use Google services without getting forced down the rabbit hole of signing up for a free at gmail.com account or getting forced into Google Workspace. Now, I've made several of these videos in the past, in previous years, and of course, Google changes the system uh, to their benefit as time goes by. Currently, when you go try to sign up for a Google account, they give you two choices. One, create a free gmail.com account, and number two, force you to sign up for Google Workspace. Now, you might not wanna do that. You might have an email address somewhere else, and we've already all got enough email addresses in our lives and passwords and all the rest. The good news is in 2025, you can still sign up for Google without a Gmail or a Google Workspace account. So first of all, I don't know how long this will last. Thank you very much to everybody in the comments who put in and said, this isn't working for me anymore. My also apologies uh, for not getting back to this faster. I haven't had a chance um, to actually go figure it out either. So if you come onto the Google account and you say, I want to create accounts, you can say personal for me and my child or work or business. Let's say it's for work or business because you need to use analytics on your business website. So you do this and it forces you into Gmail or it forces you across into Google Workspace. We don't want either of those. We actually need a different path into this. So it'd be nice for Google to make this easy so we didn't have to go through these hoops. But here's the good news. There is still a path to do this. So if your email is with Microsoft or some other place and you don't yet have a Google account, you can enable your email address with this. So here's the trick. You go to google.com forward slash accounts forward slash new account and it will drop you into this process. So I'm gonna pop in my details here just so we can kind of see how this is gonna work. I've gotta now put my date of birth in. This is not my real date of birth. You can choose if you want to copy it and you can put, pop your gender in as well. And when you click on next, it says create a Gmail address, which in this case we do not want, or use your own email address. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to use a temporary disposable email for this. It's going to send me a code. So I'm just gonna wait for that to come through into the inbox. And all that's doing is confirming that this email address is real. Obviously from their point of view, they wanna make sure we've got real users and these aren't spam submissions. And so that code has come through. I'm just gonna pop that in. And now what I've got to do is select a password. So I'm just going to do that, click on next. I might need to add a phone or I'm not going to do that right now. And it's now given me an account. So I can now choose um, to do my settings in one or four steps. I'm going to do just one. It's going to set up a bunch of default stuff for me. I'm going to accept all or reject all. In this case, I'm going to click, click accept just for this. And obviously this is privacy stuff. This is to do with what data they um, keep on you, how they use it to track you, um, where they then go and use it in their advertising platform. And so it's worth pointing out that the reason that they've made this change is because they want more data or they want more money or both. If they get, if they get you to sign up for a gmail.com account, well, great, you're gonna give them data. If you sign up for Google Workspace, well, great, you're gonna give them money. Data equals money, money equals money. That's why Google are making this a bit harder. And there we go. I've now signed up and I have a now Google account using my uh, external non-Gmail, non-Google Workspace domain and email. Uh, do remember that once you have created your Google account, go through and complete your two-step verification process. Use a device, uh, use an app on your phone such as Authy to generate two-factor authentication codes. So thanks very much for watching. I hope this was useful. Please like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.